Fergie Disco Turkey because I love to dance. I know this may seem bizarre. It's the coolest thing to do. That's why I'm such a star. Step side to side, reach high and low. Wiggle your shoulders and make a pose. Repeat side to side, high and low. Shake your feathers and point your toes. Now say gobble, gobble, gobble. Strut, strut, strut. And a strut, strut, strut. Do a wobble, wobble, wobble. Wobble, wobble, wobble. And then we got stuck. And then we got stuck. Wow! Welcome back, Wolfpack. Today we have the annual battle for the turkey rally, where each class competes for the turkey trophy. For our first game, we have our annual turkey bowling. Representing the senior class is Maya Acosta. Representing the juniors is Benjamin Madrigal. Representing the sophomores is Riley Sisterson. Representing for the freshmen is Cameron Marlat. Each student will have two rows to use a frozen turkey as a bowling ball and knock down as many pins as possible. And the student who knocks the most pins down wins the game. What a tie between the sophomores and the freshmen. Both grades will get 400 points added to their score. Now, before we get into our next game, let's take some time to appreciate our fall sports. On to our next game. For this game, we have one class advisor representing each class in a potato sack race. They will hop in their potato sack as fast as they can around the tree, and the advisor to make it back first wins the game. Representing seniors, we have Mr. McAvoy. Representing juniors is Mrs. Valencia. Representing the sophomores is Miss Muggs. And representing our freshmen is Ms. Morris. score. Before we move on to our next game, we would like to showcase our drama department. Uh, hi, I'm Raymond, and I'm going to be performing Sorry I'm Late by uh, Lisa Lord Dash. I think that's how you pronounce it. <sighs> I know I'm late for work, but you would not believe the morning I had. Last night, I put all my clothes into the washer and dryer since most of them were dirty, but to my surprise, they were all shrunk in about three sizes 
after taking them out of the dryer. I only had my pajamas I slept in, uh, so I wore them, uh, as you can see. Uh, then, when I went outside to get into my car, the car door wouldn't open. I, I put my hands under the freezing car window and saw that my keys were inside of my car. <laughs> I had no choice but to walk to work. As I walked down the street, I, I heard something come from a nearby alleyway. Uh, out of curiosity, I went to see what it was. Let me tell you, <laughs> big mistake. There are about 10, no, about 20 feral street cats staring me down. I slowly backed away, but it was too late. They chased me down the alley. About five jumped onto me and attacked me. <laughs> That's why there's a ton of my scratches on my body. Uh, see, uh, by some miracle, <laughs> I was able to escape. I thought to myself, how could this morning get any worse? <laughs> Trust me, it did. I was a block away from the work office when I went to the coffee shop uh, right around the corner and I got some hot coffee. Then I realized I was about to be late for work. I hurried to get out of the shop and of course, of course, of course, I tripped and spilled the coffee all over the place. My work bag, my pajamas, my shoes were soaked. I tried to wash off as much as I could in the bathroom, but it's still there, as you can see. So, that's why I'm late. I'll try not to let it happen again. What? It's daylight savings time? I'm an hour early? Oh, then never mind. <laughs> good morning, and welcome back to Good News Clovis East. Go T-Wolves! Monica Dudley with my anchor in training. Rebecca Donald. <laughs> Anyways, Brian and Wolf came up with the idea to kindle meaningful connections. Isn't that amazing, Miss Donald? We're in a pandemic, people. What happened to social distancing? That's so irresponsible. Actually, he wrote the letters for strangers which apply the social distancing regulations. There's also news of Joanne Collars Martins, an 80-year-old pianist who, after disease and many incidents, has unfortunately and tragically lost control of his hands. Rebecca, we're supposed to be talking about good news. Oh. Thankfully, technology has come up with a way to use spring rods and gloves to make them bring back the range of motions in someone's hand. Oh. That's... Kinda cool. Lastly, education for women has had a huge increase in the last 25 years. 89% to be exact. See? Good news. Women are no longer staying silent to their right to education. It's a great thing to see. Rebecca, would you like to wrap the day up? Yeah, I would. <clears throat> As we now know, technology has been a great way to stay connected, whether it be with people or an old hobby. And as for you as a person, don't be afraid to use your voice. People are listening and it matters. Don't be afraid to speak up. And remember, tune in next week for more good news, Clovis East. And for our very last game, our very own principal, Mr. Isley, will sit on a dunk tank and each student from each grade will have a chance to throw a ball at the target and dunk him in the tank. <laughs> Representing the seniors, we have Vance Hamsey. Representing the juniors is Paul Bangu. Representing the sophomores is Amanda Moreno. And for our freshmen, we have Bella Whitaker. Now for the turkey, let's go, Bella. Okay. Nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. All right, strike three. Okay. All right. No, I can't. No, no. Woo! Nope. No! Let's go.
Round two. Let's see what you got. Before we announce the winner of this game, let's check out what staff and teachers are thankful for. Hey guys, it's Miss Green from the SRC. We're gonna go in and see what everyone's thankful for. Hey Miss Kim. Hi Miss Green. What are you thankful for? I am thankful for my children that I'm able to come to work and they're home zooming like they're supposed to be. Awesome! Miss Heather. Yes. What are you thankful for? I am thankful for my family and my work family. Awesome. Mr. Hardy, what are you thankful for? Thankful for my family and friends and the great people I work with. Yeah. Let's see who else we can find. Mr. M. What's up, Green? What are you thankful for? Family and friends. Woo! Miss Muggs, what are you thankful for? I am thankful for my sophomore class officers because they are amazing. Woo! Coach Lee, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for Jake. Ah, uh, Coach Jake, what I are you am, thankful for? I'm also thankful for Lee. Ah, uh, bromance. And we have Coach Savoy. What are you thankful for? Uh, family and health. And Coach Sarah, what are you thankful for? Family, health, and my sport. Awesome, killing it. Go Wolfpack. Hi, my name is Mr. Fong, and I teach economics and AP World History. I'm thankful for my rock hard abs. I've really been focusing on specific muscle groups and wait, what? Oh, my students. And the winner of the dunk take is 400 added to their score. After we tally all the points from the challenges this week, we will announce the winners of the rally on Thanksgiving day. It will be posted on the CEHS Activities Instagram. And that's it for our fifth annual turkey rally. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving break.